so I've been asked a lot of the same questions over and over again on this uh, HP laptop and so I'm going to do my best to answer those I'm going to do probably uh, several different videos if you've asked a question and I am not answering it um, a lot of those are probably software related and I've had a lot of people ask me um, to review specific softwares um, most of them cost significant amounts of money um, or if they're free they come with a trial um, or it just doesn't make sense for me to review that specific software um, this is not my full-time job I have a full-time job I also have a wife and four kids and so going out and finding one specific software to meet one specific person's needs it, it, I just don't have the time for that and I apologize but one of the questions I get asked a lot on this laptop is how do you take it apart so I've gone ahead and removed the screws now if you don't have one of these magnetic um, screw bowls get one I'll put a link in the description if I remember um, these are amazing if you ever have to take something apart with a lot of screws this just really keeps them keeps them secure they're not going to go anywhere um, so it's just something really handy to have so there's 14 screws on the back <clears throat> Under the rubber feet here in the back, there's two on each side. There's two covered up by the battery. And then there are eight others throughout the base of the laptop. Now, when you take it apart, um, on this side, because of the ports, it, you actually have to take this side off last and put it on first. Because the um, video ports stick out too far for you to try to pull it off without breaking anything. So I start on this side. It just has the one USB port. And I start over here by the hinge. I'm sorry, this is going to be kind of hard to do. Let me adjust my camera a bit. Um, the space in which I work, my office, is, is very tiny. It was a closet. And so I just don't have a lot of room in here to work. So, your best thing to do is just start over here by the hinge. And you just pop it a little bit. You see how it just separates there a little bit? And then you keep working your way down the hinge. Now yours may be a bit stiff the first time. I've taken this part now a couple of times so it's a little bit easier. But it, once I started this hinge the first time, it came apart pretty easy. And as you work yourself down, then you kind of lift it off. Because you want to kind of lift it to the point where it um, kind of folds around those these ports on this side. So. You want to make sure you have all of your screws out because if you leave one in you will break this and then it's off so it just took a little bit of wiggling to get that off now here is the insides now I currently have 16 gigs and the whole reason why I'm even taking it apart this time is I'm actually taking one of these out it only runs in single channel mode anyways so having 2 6 RAM in here doesn't really do you any good and I honestly um, run out of CPU long before I run out of um, storage. So, uh, the bottleneck on this is the CPU. It's not a fast computer. Again, this is a $200, excuse me, a $200 laptop. And so having 16 gigs, I just don't see it as a necessity. So, that's going to go back into my other laptop. Um, a lot of people asked about the hard drive. Um, adding the uh, extra hard drive. Sorry, I'm going to move my camera around again. So this is where my SSD is stored on this particular system. There you go. And I have let me grab the caddy. I bought this external hard drive caddy. Or I shouldn't say external. This is to replace a CD-ROM drive, right? If you notice, there's no place here to screw it into place. Now one person had um, had one that would screw into this hole here. Um, had a little tab on it. This one doesn't have that tab. Uh, I believe the laptop um, back actually screws in there so you'd install it and then put the back on and then screw through the back into that hole securing this into place. This one does not have that. So I did not bother to use this. The other problem I ran into is the offset made it kind of weird to plug this in. Um, 
So I did. I didn't use this. I didn't feel it to be necessary because it wasn't going to secure um, the drive into place anyway. So um, what I did, hear the iconic sound. I used two Velcro dots, two dots on the SSD, two dots on the laptop. These dots have um, an excellent adhesive, and they grab on really tight. SSDs are super light anyway, so you're not having a whole lot. They're not having to hold on to a whole lot anyway. So, um, you know, this weighs a few grams. Don't know exactly how much it weighs, but why carry this around when this works perfect with no issues? And then it just slot, slots right in, and then I just make sure the Velcro is stuck on good. And I've carried this with me every single day for the last three weeks and it not had a single problem with the SSD even kind of sort of coming loose and at first I did have a, a, a normal spinning hard drive in here and again no issues whatsoever so this is a solution I used I know some people um, in my comments again they found a uh, um, a hard drive adapter or, or caddy that would screw into that screw there I bought the cheapest one I could find and I'm perfectly happy with the one I purchased. So, um, I think the one that had that was like 4 or $5 more. So that just didn't make sense to me since all I needed was this right there. And this does run at ID, uh, ID excuse me, um, it's a Type 3 port. So it runs at uh, 6, what is it? 6 gigabytes a second. Yeah, serial ATA th uh, 3. So, um, and if you saw my performance videos, you'd see that, that it runs at that speed. All right, now I've taken that RAM out. I'm done with what I'm doing. Um, to put the bottom back on, and it's actually kind of funny. This laptop is so funny to me. Um, it obviously was made for being able to be more modular and be able to have a whole bunch of different configurations. The fact that it has a place for a CD-ROM, um, this part of the laptop fits right here, right in this area, which is the perfect size for a hard drive. Now there's no place to plug in a hard drive right here, so you'd have an adapter or something. Um, I think this is actually the storage here. Um, I think this is the um, the 32 gigs of storage so I haven't taken it off. I haven't really looked at it much. Um, I think that's what this is. I might be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But it's not the, the wireless because the wireless is here. CPU is there. Memory is there. And it's not a sound card because that's built into something else on the motherboard. I mean they wouldn't have this big of a card for a, a sound card on this less laptop. It's not the controller for the uh, for the USB or anything that I would be aware of. I'm pretty sure this is the storage. So this is where a hard drive would normally go um, just looking at the bottom of the laptop uh, case. And you can see it's also kind of lined up for a CD-ROM as well. So this looks like it could be um, a lot more modular for HP so I just find that very interesting I haven't seen any of their other laptops have this exact base um, so I might be wrong but it's just something interesting when pulling this apart how it looks like that base could be made so much more modular um, than it is so let's go ahead and go up again a little bit again I apologize for moving the camera around I'm just trying to get show you as much as I can um, as closely as I can so to get the case back on, again, as I said earlier, you have to get the side with the um, ports for the video on first. So you kind of throw it on at an angle and make sure that it snaps into place. And that's actually the hardest part is making sure that this gets in place first and then on all the way. And it hangs up on the um, HDMI port the most. So I'm going to pull this off camera for just a second, so I can get up close. You just kind of hinge it into place.
Watch your fingers because you're going to pinch them. Oh, and I'm stuck on the HDMI port. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. There's just isn't enough room in front of the camera. There we go. Okay. So, as I said, it catches on the HDMI port here uh, pretty bad. If my camera won't focus, there we go. So you want to watch that. Uh, once you get it around the uh, VGA, it fits on just fine. And then we just go back around and snap it back into place. Now what I really need is I need a new adhesive for the sticky feet. Um, they don't hold on as well as they used to. All these screws fortunately are the same size. I had unscrewed this before I started the video just because I figured that wasn't anything anybody wanted to watch. But I'll go ahead and make you watch me screw it back in if you wait this long because what I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'll power it on. Just make sure everything works and you'll get to see um, how long it takes to uh, power on from the SSD. Now I am booting from the SSD and not the EM, uh, was it? EMMC storage. So I am booting directly from that SSD I installed. Um, the EMMC storage is still on there. I haven't unplugged it or disabled it or anything. Um, I haven't deleted anything off of it. I might maybe throw my MP3s or something on there. Just to have a, um, some more stuff on here to store. Now one thing to be careful, um, these all do screw into metal um, studs, but those metal studs are just press fit into plastic. So you want to make sure things are snug, but you don't want to over tighten anything. You will strip it out. Um, these screws are pretty good. I've, I've had this open now four or five times, just messing with it, um, recording videos, that sort of stuff. And I have not stripped one of these uh, screws yet. Um, I've had other laptops in the past, um, namely, uh, I had a Dell M3800, uh, and that had these tiny little Torx, uh, I want to say they were T5 um, screws, just teeny tiny little things, and if you breathed on them funny, <laughs> they stripped, and um, I tried to call Dell to get replacements. And it took me a good um, nine or ten attempts to, to finally get somebody who could get me the right screws. Because I kept I just kept stripping them over and over again. Because uh, I had to keep opening up those laptops because they were just a pain in the neck. Um, this is, I was working for a company. Uh, these weren't my personal um, systems. Um, so I ended up ordering 200 of those screws and it cost me, I mean they probably cost me 75 cents a screw for these, I mean they were just teeny tiny little things. And um, yeah, I, I went through every single one of them, every single one of them. And I had to, the worst part was is you'd strip them screwing it in, I mean if you just put the lightest pressure on them they'd strip. And. Uh, done here and so I'd have to drill out uh, if I had a problem with them I had to drill out the old screw um, and they had a they had a problem where they would um, forget their storage and you'd have to the only way to resolve it that I could find was to actually unplug the hard drive entirely boot it without the hard drive plugged in go through and run a, a, a the bias um, diagnostics and when you were done, um, power it off, plug the uh, drive back in, boot it back up, and then it would discover the hard drive again. And they would do this every, I don't know, couple months. So I was in and out of those laptops. I had you know, over a dozen of them out in, in deployment. So I was in and out of those things constantly. All right, and of course, can't forget the battery. So as you saw, that was pretty quick, pretty painless. Um, Lock the battery into place. Sorry, it's real dusty in here. I need to dust. 